Hello everybody, Trekkie here with another episode of Trekkie Plays Minecraft. Episode 30. And today, we have only one thing in mind. To conquer the Archimage Tower. Yes, I have finally found this sucker after so many episodes of looking. Well, between episodes, I didn't look in the episodes, but I've been to 10k out and just about every direction. And guess what? It's less than 600 blocks from spawn. Go figure. And of course there's a oddly spawned millionaire village right next to it. So we find ourselves in the this odd desert hills biome, but it's right there. And it spawned in the middle of the water, so that means all the ocean I thought it couldn't spawn in, it could literally spawn in the middle of the ocean. So that makes it even more difficult to find. Oh, it's a, it's a nightmare. I can't believe all the time I've spent trying to find this thing. It has an interesting light, lighting effect going around the bottom, but... Before we can tackle the sucker, we need to gear up. What is this down here? It's just really weird. We need to gear up. But first, let's have a look at this millionaire. This is a Japanese village. I, I can see from the, from the buildings. It just spawned midair with all this dirt. Look at this. It's really weird. Poor Japanese people. Stuck in the middle of the air. Can't do nothing. I love how they sleep now. Hello, Japanese. Hello, Jap. Oh, yeah, between episodes, I was messing with the arcane boar in my flat world. Uh, and in flat world, as I've mentioned before, if you set up right, it has no caves. So there's really nowhere for monsters to spawn. Well, when you're digging out a long tunnel with the arcane boar, you are creating a dark area for them to spawn. And so many of them were spawning in one little area. I mean, it was ridiculous. Um, I lost a lot. Lost my sword. Lost my old spell book. Um, didn't lose my weapon, uh, my tools, or my ender pouch. Lost my pants and my boots. Lost my old, uh, you know, goggles revealing. Lost the top of my arcane boar. I lost a lot of stuff. It was terrible. My spell book was probably the worst of it because I had a whole bunch of created spells already, so I had to go back and like recreate the spells. I only have a couple created so far. Recall. But yeah, let's have a look at how far exactly this tower is from spawn. Forgive the loading bit. I mean, my house is literally just straight this way. Let me make sure I don't fall. It's not that far at all. You'll see in a second that we were really not that far off from this thing the entire time. And that's Tower Houses, the Archmage Podium, which is how we get Augmented Casting, which is the most powerful version. It was literally standing with that. I think it's actually just 1,000 blocks away from our city. Like, less than 1,000 blocks, maybe even. These are the... I know it's not loading very well. It's probably it's fraps. Um, yeah, these are the the islands outside of our. And I'm falling in the ocean. Thank God I was over the ocean, right? And this over here, yeah, this is our base. Literally that close. This is our tree. And it's just right over there the whole time. Uh, yesterday I went in the opposite direction, 10k. They went to the corner, 10k. And then came back, didn't find it. I've been searching in every direction. I must have flown around it a thousand times, and it was just right there. I'm s when I flown over there and I saw it, I'm like, are you shitting me? Literally, are you shitting me? It was right there the entire time. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, I, my, my jaw just about hit the ground. Hello, skeletons. Why do I not have sound? Where is my sound? I do not have sound. It's odd. Um, so let me prepare stuff to make our armors and our, you know, a, a magic spell or two, and then I'll be back. And I also got to fix the sound, so be back. All right, we're back, ready to make our Archmage armor. Now, the Tower Guardians are completely immune to physical attacks. And they do a lot of magical damage. So, 
naturally, my diamond armor and stuff are not going to help me a bit. They're just going to tear me apart. And my sword, not even part of it. So we're going to need to make ourselves something that's going to help protect us against all their deadly magical attacks, which can two-shot you without any protection. So, yes, it isn't necessary. Uh, we're going to craft ourselves some Archmage armor, which is as protective as diamond because of its magical infused fibers. And of course, you know, that's just my magical role-playing thing going on. And it is very resistant to magical attacks. Plus, each piece has its own benefit, sort of like... um. Uh, not gravity armor, quantum armor, like how each piece has its own special ability. Well, Archmage armor has, each piece has its own magical ability. Uh, like the BP will cast regen on you if you're low health, using up stability, and of course it'll take some of your mana to repair itself. So it auto-repairs by using your mana. So let's get into this. First off, we need to start at the very basic lowest rung. And I think I've already f screwed up my mathematics! For noobs, learn ad foo. All right. Uh, does it need to be powered? Does it have to be in a very specific way? I think this was over here. Maybe this over here. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's just very specific. And I guess this stuff takes time. Well, I did not know it would take time to do that. I do need more of this arcane ash, which I don't think I have enough of. Oops, that's not it. So basic, oh, yeah, see there we go. We're basically making this and another thing after it will combine, and that's how we'll get a pure essence, which is need needed to make the archmage armor. So once I get all the essences needed, the core, the cores, the medium cores, and then the pure essence, I'll be back and we'll make ourselves some archmage armor. All right, we are ready to craft ourselves some Archmage armor. Let's begin. Archmage hood, wool, pure essence, rune cockra, corkra, or whatever. Eh? Oosh. Archmage hood, yes. This will give you water breathing. If you find yourself low in air, very cool. Archmage armor itself. Wool, purple runes, gold ingot. This will give you regeneration. Okay. I don't know what the pants give you. Could be anything at this point. So I don't know. All I know is all the armor will regen if you are if it takes damage from using your mana. Archmage boots. Quite some boots there, aren't they? These will help you with fall damage. If you fall from a certain height, it will prevent fall damage. So that's always a good thing. I'm not sure what the ma the mage leggings do. Who knows? I think one of them prevent you from taking or cast water shield on you. That's probably what the Archmage like. If you're like you're in fire, it'll cast water shield on you to help you out. So walk through lava. Put on our Archmage armor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are ready for battle. We got the the evil face under the hood. Ooh. All right. I think we're about ready. I think we are ready. Actually, we need one more thing before we go. We don't. I don't want to use the fire blast spell because it destroys blocks. And an arcane bolt is actually better for these guys. And it is a just a blue rune, so it ain't gonna take us long to craft. Let's take one out of our take a rune out of here. Boop. What are these? Reaping scythe. Sp Staff of Lightning Storm. That sounds delicious. Um, what else was... Oh, yeah. Blue. My dyes Chest and Inner Pearls, which I've been getting from farming. 
I'll worry about enchanting the armor later. Right now we got we got work to do. I forgot one of the spell parchments as well. I'm gonna get right on over there. Spark spell parkment. Give me some of that spell parkment. Arcane bolt. Is there anything else that we could probably find useful amongst my ample list of spell items? Tangle of wood and thorns. Parasitic seed. Do I have anything that does damage over time? Spasms of the uncontrollable hand. Two green, one black, and white. Two green, two black. Or two green, one black, and white. So. Two green, one black and white, and well, one regular. So need two green, black, white, maybe that'll make them drop their spells. I don't know. We don't we can't we can't be certain. But it might be worth a shot. They hold a spell in their hand which is improved like a special NPC version of Arcane Bolt that does a ton of damage. My thought, my thinking here is trying to find the spell again. Oh, what did it even look like? Anyways, my thinking is maybe they'll drop the spell. Uh, it was further than this a little bit, I think. No, no. Ah, oh, here we go. Two green. They hold it in their hand like a weapon, so maybe if they have. And the spasms of the uncontrollable hand, or whatever the hell it's called, uncontrolled hand, makes them drop their weapon or like lose their weapon or something. So, worth a shot. Well, it's a little bit laggy around here, isn't it? It's Oh, I know why it's laggy. I was like, man, it's getting laggy around here. No! We gotta lag it on over to the, the tower. I forgot to turn off the experience tower. No! slow motion run to the tower okay I'm probably gonna fry my PC we're gonna uh, uh, get over there it's just lots and lots of experience oh, look at all that experience wow this is what happens if you don't pay attention to what you're doing you get loads and loads of experience dropping. In the new Thawncraft update, uh, the jars only hold so much. I'm sorry if this is loud. Let me turn this down momentarily. The jars uh, only hold 30 levels of experience now. So naturally, I only had two jars. So yeah, it really what it amounts to is lots and lots of experience or lag. Um, it pretty much makes this entire system that I've designed lots less efficient. Is there a guard in here? Wow. Oh, the door's open and no guards came running in? Or did they? I don't see them. But look at that. Wow. Just experience for days. Ah, experience. I should probably turn that system off. Wow, that that was terrible. I was like, man, it's getting really laggy. Yeah. Oh, oof. Let's fly up there and turn this sucker off. I hope I got that. Flick that off. Did I get the... Wow. Game is not liking that. Let me tell you. Game is not liking that at all. Click. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Wow. Game is freaking out. Well, it's the sound lag as you move away from it. Sort of like rain particles. They make you lag if you move around too much. Wow, that's terrible. I apologize for that, really. My own stupidity. I thought it was kind of funny walking at it in slow motion, though. It's like, no. <laughs> Anyways, we need to get to that tower, so when I get to the tower, I'll be back. 
All right, we are here at the tower. Our battle plan is to stay alive. These guys are very deadly, and there is actually two of them in there, and they are each a boss monster. So it's like having two Ender Dragons, two Withers, uh, in a very enclosed space. Um, they will cast spells on you. Like I said, they're completely immune to uh, physical attacks, so I can't just run in there with this badass sword and wreak havoc on their lives. That is not going to work. I think there's one on... I'm not sure where they are in the tower. I've not looked in. Hopefully they're not standing right next to each other, because that could be deadly. I got my Splash Potion of Regeneration, which doesn't last very long, but that's okay. Our spells, we got Arcane Bolt, which is going to be our primary damage dealer. We got our own regeneration. We got Magic Shield, which I'm going to want to keep on myself at all times. In fact, I might take these spells out of here so I can switch between them easier. Let's do this. Arcane Bolt, Regen, Magic Shield, and Spasms. <laughs> Let's take them out of this for easier. Yeah, now I can just do this. So before we go, we're going to want to fly over there, which I don't need to, yeah. This will be our fly. Well, no time like the present, no time to wait around. Let's get right on it. Cast a magic shield on ourselves before we go over. Got flight and magic shield. Let's get on over there. Let's do some damage. Hopefully they do not, but, yep, so you can see the tower guardian thing. I'm just going to land right here. I'm going to recast this on myself. Recast generation. I'm going to get my spasms. Where is he? I know there's got to be somebody in here. One here. I missed completely. <laughs> Terribly, I missed. Okay. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I'm still in the water. Okay, so they're not so bad. Thank God to this re this stuff though. Got a lot of HP though. Damn this water. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get you here. That's where I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you ain't got nothing. Okay, I got this. Ooh, they take a lot of mana. Ah, dang. Just slinging spells. Yeah, you didn't think I could do this, did you? Oh, they don't seem to like it when I'm right here. Huh. You all are very deadly. That I'm aware of. Get my recast my things on me. For yeah, I don't seem to really care so much when I'm in the water. Yeah, I'm exploiting. Yeah, you see that? I'm exploiting this stuff, and now I'm not seem to be doing any damage. A strike of the shadows. What the hell? Did he cast something? I killed something there. <laughs> That's one of those uh, Reaper looking things. Okay, this is taking about half my mana bar, but he's not really attacking me back from here. Which is good, because they're really. It's just really annoying, is what it. Oh. Get some more. This ain't so bad. Now, this would be bad if I didn't have the proper setup. I've actually played with, around with these guys in creative. Even in full diamond armor, they'll just tear your ass up in two hits. Uh, and completely immune to physical. So you really... And since I don't have access to augmented casting because it's up in their tower, what unlocks it, it's just a long fight. But luckily, they don't seem to care if I'm in the water. So that's kind of an exploit. But I'm going to get out of the water. Actually, I can't exploit on the second one because he's probably up in the tower. See, they could do some damage real quick. Let's get this up. Okay, he's almost dead. I really want to see if I could get him with this spasm and uncontrolled hand. Does this make him lose a spell? I guess not. I guess it does nothing to him at all. And they do regenerate their health, so you gotta keep on the attack. They. Yeah, this guy's mine. 
Yeah, what do you got? You got nothing. Just die. <laughs> you got nothing. But you did drop a few things. Let's get in there and see what we got. Mostly just essences. If I look, I always use them. I'm a lot of uh, augment and casting spells use essences as a reagent. So affinity tomes, they make you more powerful and obviously the affinity they say. Hmm. Well, they'll come in useful, that's for sure. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to regenerate some mana. And I'll be back when I'm full of mana and then we could go on in for the second guy. Alright, we waited throughout the night. It took a while for it to regen. Um, I should add that there actually are mana potions that you could drink for to get your mana back a lot quicker. I just don't have any prepared. P -p -p prepared P -p 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 prepared uh, I don't have any p -p prepared <laughs> uh, but yeah we got all our mana the second guy is going to be tougher because we don't have the advantage of using the water to our advantage so let's get our magic shield running I don't know exactly where he is it's good to have it just in case now you can actually flip back and forth with spells in a spell book and just find it easier on your bar because to flip through the spell you have to hit different keys and in the okay, I see his thing. Okay, uh, the magic shield does last a good bit of while, thankfully. Where is this guy? He's got to be up in the top area there. But just in case, I mean, this is a potentially dangerous drop. Thankfully, I have the boots that will cast a uh, feather falling on me right before I hit the ground. There he is. I see him. Yeah, he'll regen that pretty fast. There's no... This is just going to be a mage fight. Not very easy one because he's running around. I think my regen wore off. Stop following me around. <laughs> he bounces around. He seems to do less. Oh, get out of my face! You're a mage, not a weird. Get off my ass. <laughs> okay, I'm getting slaughtered here. I need to get I need to take a break if I could get out of here. Oh go run Run Oh my god Wow Yeah my my BP got it there see BP's draining but this guy is just regenerating Oh shit, now he's above. Oh, now there he is. I may not be able to get on this run. <laughs> Health regen. Okay, now he just seems to be in a good spot. Just bounce him against the wall. It seems like when they bounce against walls and stuff, they don't f attack as much, but they're pretty deadly. No, no denying. And I'm a pretty high level mage with the best mage armor. If you had anything less, I could imagine this guy up here would just... Well, even the one on the bottom, if you weren't in the middle of the ocean, I could glitch it. I would just be utterly deadly. They are dangerous mobs, but I think that's kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie. I think it's really cool that they're tough. That It should be a worker. I just don't like how difficult it is to find the mage tower. There should be some kind of spell in the game. Okay, now I'm not attacking him at all. I'm just attacking the stupid mage light above me. Okay, die. You can hear me just clicking frantically. <laughs> Spam! Spray and pray. He's mine. He's going down. There's only two of these guys in here, and I don't think they respawn, so thank God for that. Yep, it's all mine. Whew. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. Is there anything up here? No. And there's our Archmage Podium. Check it out. Success. Wait for it. Wait, hold on. 
Turn the sound back. I guess I should have turned the sound up. Who cares? Augmenting casted unlocked. And just in case, I'm bringing this sucker with me. What do we got? A bunch of double chests, spells, haste, already got it, flight, already got it, but I will take these essences. Let's see what else we got. Swirling winds of protection, drown. I'll take that, sounds like fun. Take these essences, swirling winds of protection, that doesn't even really work that well. Sadly, we got an alchemy station. Is there anything behind these books? Maybe a secret compartment? Either way, we'll take the books, whatever. I know there was more spells down. Let's see what's up here first. I'm not really sure. Oh. There's an essence nexus up here that doesn't seem to be working. Interesting. Interesting, yes. Maybe it doesn't work when it's... Hmm. Do these mossy b blocks not work with this? I don't know, but I'm taking these. Definitely taking those. Man, that was pretty cool. Uh, the, like I said, the mage tower guardians are pretty tough, as you can clearly see. They almost got me a few times, even with all my advanced abilities. Really nothing I could do to stop their power. To stop the power. Didn't have nothing to stop the power. Alright, let's get back down. See, I know there's more double chests below. We were just more focused on getting the mages. The tower guardians. They didn't have nothing against Trekkie. I was never worried at not a single bit. Not a, not a single time was I ever worried. This is quite a ways down, isn't it? <laughs> quite a tower. A good tower to live in, but by the time you're powerful enough to really take the tower you know what even if I have all this stuff I'm just gonna click it so I'm running pretty I don't know if I have jump but I will take these fire essences how about you ice fireball already have that but what the hell I'll, I'll take it take these I don't know if I have ice or not, but I'll take it. Chain lightning. I know I have that. That's actually not a very good spell. And I, I just picked that one up. Um, Ender intervention. Swift swim. Ender intervention. I think that takes you out of the end or something. I don't know. I like this floor. Oh my god, there's a lot of chests in here, aren't there? This arcane ash. Tear spell for firebolt. Yeah, I think we've established that by now. Magic shield, which I already got, but whatever. Accelerate and heal other. Ender or no I already got I know I have that one. Fuck it. Heal other. Oh uh. There's probably some more over here. Yes. Ender bolt. Blink. Oh, that's a mage staple right there. Wow, look at all these essences, man. I'm just water breathing. Fire shield? Ooh, I don't have fire shield. Air essence. Now, while I was waiting... Oh, that's the tower, my, my friends. We have unlocked augmented casting. Augmented casting. We can now cast the most powerful spells. Uh, a lot of them take... Let's see if I hit my C button. Which... You can see the arrow goes up. Now I can cast the most powerful stuff. Although, like I said, a lot of them require reagents. Like this is not going to... Oh, I guess it did. Oh, and Flight 3 is two. It's near three minutes instead of 30-something seconds. That's nice. That's very nice. We're not going to walk back. We're not going to walk back. We're just going to go... Whoop. <laughs> I cast a Mark spell before I lost my book. So yeah, we got we did well. We got our unlocked our augmented casting. That is how, we've been looking for that for like 20 or more episodes. Let's put all our spells back in here. Yeah, I can cast all kind of stuff. I got all kind of mana. 
Arcane Bolt, we cast the most badass version. Recall, there's... Yeah, there's no really reason. Fuego. <laughs> let's, cast a, or, let's cast an augmented fireball. 600 mana. That's a pretty hefty mana cost. Wow, look at all this junk in my inventory. Well, it's not junk, but... You know what I'm saying. I probably still have fly. Yeah, I love that. Lasts a long time. Let's cast augmented fireball on something. See what we could come up with. Huh. Didn't seem to do much. I thought it would have destroyed some ground. Apparently not. Is there? Hmm. Well, I love how long this flight lasts now. That is worth it in, in itself. It is worth it. And of course, how long does augmented regeneration cost? Or throwing on ourselves? It lasts. Oh, it's regeneration three, and it lasts like well, how long was it? Oops. Oh, I need life essence. Life essence. Which one was life essence? Earth, plant. See, now we're gonna need re essences, which is also another thing. This table, oh. which is another thing, this table in here is gonna be useful for is creating essences for all our powerful spells. Let's get this sucker out. This archmage thing. It needs to be in here at some point. Yeah, we got a little archmage. I can. There's supposed to be a jingle with this thing, but I don't hear it. Wow. I'm just so happy we got that. I mean, I'm, I can't tell you how long I've been looking for that thing. And it was right there the entire time. It is both a slap in the face and a great relief that I no longer have to search the world for it. So I already got a general. I already got ender. Got two waters. Already got water. Do not have ice. I have two life. I don't need two of those. Um, lightning already got, so I don't need none of the more of those. Yeah. We made out like bandits. I'm not really sure. So does this require a reagent? Like apparently flight three doesn't require a reagent. That's good. How about um magic shield? Which lasts two minutes. Uh that probably would have been really nice versus the Tower of Guardians. Now only one tower will ever spawn in your world. So from this point forward, the tower serves no purpose for us whatsoever. So we are past that. Also for the future, from this episode forward, I have some cool ideas. Uh, one is we're going to have to... This tower will remain. I love the tower. It's been like part of our history in this Let's Play so far. Uh, the, I'm talking about the experience tower, that is. Due to the limitations of the experience holding of it now, it is not really as... I mean, I'll throw a bunch, a bunch more jars. It'll still be great, but I have some really cool ideas in mind. Once uh, Mistcraft re-implements its uh, linking, link modifier, block structure thingy. <laughs> the scientific term, of course. Uh, let's see if I can't find it in this list. When you have a lot of stuff, it can be difficult to find things. Where the hell is it? I know it's got to be in this general direction. Oh, here it is. The link modifier. It's a block. Uh, basically, allows you to make linking things to specific points. And you could even right click it like a teleport home. A really cool device. Uh, it doesn't have a actual recipe. You can't legitimately get it in your world as of this version. Uh, which is a shame because you need it to pretty much make these portals. Uh, I think, I think, I'll have to test that out in creative and see if I can make it without the link modifier. But for now, in the future, I have some really cool ideas from a massive mon monster system that'll be part of our library as well, which will, of course, will turn experience into books and fill up our library with, you know, various enchantments. 
But that'll be, have to be for another episode. I'll have to research out a little bit more. Um, and by creative, I mean my creative world, not this world. I don't cheat in this world. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We finally got the big Archmage Tower that we've been searching for forever. Happy about augmented casting. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Going to have to start worrying about essences now. Uh, got ourselves a badass set of mage armor that will repair itself. Uh, the leggings, as I said, I had searched for it between... As I was waiting for my... Uh, if you're on fire, it'll cast like a one second water shield, which will pretty much dispel the fire. If you're in lava, it'll cast like a 15 second water shield to give you a chance to get to safety. Uh, I think it has like a either 30 or 60 second recast. The BP, uh, if you're 2.5 health, it'll give you regeneration and it has a 60 second recast. All at cost of durability to the armor. And of course durability, we either see the cost of durability or your mana reserves. And if you're really low, like like probably like one, it gives it heals you, like insta heals you for a good bit of your HP at a great cost to your mana. And if you don't have the mana, obviously you don't get it. The helmet is, of course, water breathing. The boots are uh, feather falling with a recast timer. So an epic set of armor, e equally as protective as diamond. As you can see, all my armor at the bottom is filled up. I'm, of course, going to put some enchants on it. Uh, but either way, that was this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we can move on to other things. Now that I don't have to worry about wasting all my time searching the world for it. I wish I knew it was that close. I mean, I have generated so much land. And I didn't... I, I could swore I was past that spot. See, just... It was a very small... You know, tower. It's not very wide or anything. So it's easy to miss. And of course, it could spawn in the middle of the ocean. So that doesn't make it any easier. Uh, I don't know. But I hope you all enjoy the episode. See you all next time.